You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Up. It's my husband. Okay? He's taking this pastoral work so seriously mm. and it's affecting us without him even knowing it. Can you believe that for the past six months, my husband has been going from one ministerial conference to one pastoral event? Do you know that we haven't had intimacy for six months? Was that the reason you called me here? You know I do not like visiting your house. I mean, once your husband sees me, he starts saying, John chapter 3, oh no, I don't want someone preaching to me. I love my life. I love exactly how I'm living my life. I don't need all that, okay? I don't need all that. But seriously, Tina, don't you think you need to revive your Christian life? And be like you? Oh, please, cut me some slacks. Babes, I understand how it feels. But if only you can just know the truth behind all this. What truth? That your husband is having another woman. God forbid! My husband is a pastor. An anointed man of God. A man who has got on my foot. <laughs> have, you, have you asked me the real reason I stopped going to church? Why did you stop going to church? Apostles, reverends, pastors, bishops, whatever. They're all the same. Whenever they see me, they, they clamor to have me. Babes, they don't even hide it. Do you know I prefer to do things with these normal people than these so-called men of God, in quotes? Um, Tina, my husband is different. You're living in a fool's paradise, girl. Open your eyes now. What's up? Listen, a full-blooded man cannot stay up to six months without mating a woman. He's not giving it to you. That's because he's having a lot of it outside. Man, the man is digging it outside. Tina, why are you telling me this? Men do not have the monopoly of having extramarital affairs. We all eat the same thing and our bodies make the same calls. Girl, if he's not giving it to you, you go outside and solve your problems. ASAP. I'm fine. I just tried to connect you on video call, but you didn't pick. Yes, I'm good. It's just that the church misses its head pastor. Your assistant is trying though, but you know, there's nothing as lifting as the head pastor of the church. Alright, my love. Pushing me to the world as Kanga, and you're going to regret this. Yes, it's his fault. Yes, Das Kanga has never picked up my video call. I'm sure he's with a woman, or even women. It's all his fault. Onye, I did not hear you just say that. But you heard me. I know you very well, Idigo. You are not a busybody. So why bother yourself with what two adults did behind closed doors? Oh, Onye, don't tell me that. We are not just talking about any adult. 
We are talking of someone who parades herself as a pastor's wife with a television program. The mere fact that she is living a life different from what she preaches is something serious and we need to call her out. And by calling her out, what will you record as your king? At least all the people that she has been deceiving would have a reason to ask themselves an important question. These pastors and their wives are just business people who have absolutely nothing to do with holiness of life. I've been saying this, why is it that people like you have refused to listen? <laughs> but, wait a minute, is this possibly the reason you asked me to come see you? Well, you know, why are you seeing this as nothing? Now that you are thinking straight, I want to hook you up to someone. He will take proper care of you. Not just in bed, but he will lavish you with money. Babes, you will make money and become richer. Listen, no man is worth dying for. Be it man of God or whoever. Let me even ask, who is a man or woman of the devil? You know, since you came to my house, I've been thinking about it. Hmm. I don't understand why he suddenly stays away for so long. Hmm. He acts as though he doesn't have blood running through his veins. Mm -hmm. Do you know I even tried to call him on video call and he didn't pick. Why will he pick when he's busy smashing a woman on bed? Babes, if I tell you what I have seen in the hands of these so-called men of God, you will lose your faith in fellowship. I have decided to leave these men of God and concentrate on my ever merciful God. I am so wounded right now. Why, why didn't I see this before now? It's not too late to start anything. My happiness is that you've, you've opened your eyes. I will take you somewhere tonight. <laughs> Babes, I want you to see the other part of life. Babe, if you see that life, you will not want to go back to your old ways. What do you think I should confront him? Confront him for what? Why would you want to do that? Allow him to keep being foolish while you enjoy yourself. You see, this is our God. <laughs> this God is a merciful God. He is a powerful God. He forgives us of our sins. I can see you're in the spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are welcome. I'm surprised. What? I'm surprised we ended up in a hotel room. Weren't you meant to at least go to like a, a private residence where, where my reputation will be secured? There is no place more secure than this place. This is not just a hotel. This is a coded place where the high and mighty meet to mingle. There's a way those um, receptionists were looking at me. It was funny. Come on. Those receptionists, they were only admiring how beautiful you look. Should I be the one to tell you you look astonishingly beautiful? I mean, astonishingly charming after two kids. So you think they won't breathe a word of this to anyone? Why would they? I mean, those receptionists working here, they can't say a word to anybody. Calm down, relax. Cheer up, Chief will soon be here. I don't, I, I don't know how, how else will I explain myself? I said I no longer invest in politicians. The reason is very simple, because they are a bunch of liars. They will never say what they mean, and they will never mean what they say. I don't deal with such people. You don't get it? Listen. The only thing I will promise you is um, I will go back and study the proposal one more time. 
because they're the kind of money they are calling is not the money somebody will just bring out so i need to study the proposal one more time and see if that is what i want to get involved with and i want you to do me one favor please get those guys in that political camp to stop sending me all these endless reminders i am not daft okay I will get back to you guys when I am ready for you guys. That's a promise. Thank you. Sorry, ladies, I just needed to take care of these guys that have been calling me all day. It's okay. Chief Chief! <laughs> the business tycoon himself. Tina the lady Chief. You are the one who knows everybody. Thank you, Chief. <laughs> and I am believing that the this beautiful lady sitting down here is the one you told me about. Exactly. Babe, this is Chief Opundu. Ogili <laughs> Nice, nice to meet you, sir. Izibo Mumade. Her voice and her presence has this element of peace. Yes. <laughs> Trust me, I have I have this peaceful way of handling peaceful people like you. Exactly. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Yes. Mm. You have not called up for anything? Um, Chief, uh, let me just get to it. Please. Okay. <laughs> feel free. Let's play. Come on, feel free. Chief is a very nice person. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like this woman. I know. <laughs> welcome. Um. What's the problem with you? Why are you dragging me here? Does it mean you did not notice what happened? What happened? Madame Tina did not leave this hotel with that woman. That means she's spending the night here with that man. Is there any problem with that? And moreover, here is built so that people will come in and sleep. That's the woman pressure who ministers on the television every Wednesday. And she's spending the night with another man in a hotel. It's none of your business. She's here in a hotel with another man in Shifakondo's room. And you're telling me it's none of my business. See, if the manager hears this thing you are saying, he will fire you immediately. And let me just warn you, don't you ever drag me to this corner to discuss nonsense. What is wrong with everybody's sake? See, there's enough to talk about. Babes hate me with the gist as if he hurts. It was okay. Five million? Babes! And I wasn't even expecting it. Come on. I mean, a man that enjoyed his woman last night should take care of her. Well, you're right, but um, honestly, personally, I was not expecting it. He just asked for my account number and hmm, he sent me five million. You know, I'm so happy hearing this. Now that you've tasted the other side of life, you now know that a woman's body is a money-making machine. Uh, 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 uh. Don't say because I've started doing this now, you want to give me someone else. I am not interested in meeting any other man. Eh? Come on, Sandra, now. If you make yourself too available for a man, he will take you for granted. Well, I, I know I know you know better. I know you know this is your terrain. But I honestly do not want to meet any other person. I have my reasons. <coughs> Chief Okwundo is a woman killer. I am sure he brought down your pot of orgasm, babe. <laughs> I never knew that lovemaking could be this sweet. Oh. I tell you. He was nice. I trust Chief. I trust him. <laughs> okay, now that um, the pastor's wife is good to go, I cooked. Would you like to eat? Eat? No. I'm full. <laughs> Girl, you are bad. Are switched off. You are, you are not at the church. I am so tired myself. It's fine, baby. 
I've been busy trying to settle one problem to another. I don't know what marriages are turning into okay, these days. Okay, sit, 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 take it easy. Sit, sit, sit. Honestly, I don't know what marriages are turning into. What is the problem? Before it was men. Now, women also have egos they are trying to protect. <laughs> eh? Both parties will not allow each other rest or even give way for one another. Well, that explains why we have a lot of uh, failed marriages these days. You know, the lack of tolerance, the lack of patience, lack of understanding. I tell you. Between both parties, it's, it's alarming. I tell you, this is what I've been telling women mm. since morning. Only God will help us. I we'll have to keep praying for them. I have to. I have to. I'm so tired. You look very tired. I am. I was going to say. You look tired. I'm extremely tired. I just want to rest. You need some rest. No. Come on. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Let's go. I'm so <laughs> tired. It's fine. Honey. I've been talking since the morning. <laughs> I know. Surprised to see me, my love. Reduce your voice. My workers are around. How about that? Look at you. You look pretty. Very pretty. Thank you. Please sit. My husband is around. Please. Listen, we really need to find a way around this. Because I've been coming here quite often. Chief, please. Don't put me in trouble. Just leave. I'll come to you after. Not so fast, my dear. Why are you even tensed? What is the problem? You look so tensed. You won't understand. I do understand. You are worried about your environment. Come on. Let me tell you something. Even if your husband comes in here now as we are here, we are going to figure out something to tell him. He won't be able to figure out anything. We are not kids. Are we kids? Does this mean you are a very stubborn man? Because... <laughs> That's not good. Are you not stubborn and you are this big? Come on, you are stubborn too. I know. Any businessman in Nigeria who must survive must allow the spirit of stubbornness to possess him. If not, people will continue to take it for granted and they will squander his money. Stubbornness, my dear, is big business. Don't you understand that? So what are you doing? Chief, let's pray. Why are you feeling? Why are you eating from my plate? <laughs> Do you want some salad? Yes, darling. Okay. You know, <clears throat> I was, um, you know, I pray the kids, um, We'll be on holiday very soon because I miss them. You should visit them. It's been a while. Yes, I was thinking so. Very soon, I will. That'll be nice. Mm -hmm. They'll love it. And hey, a man, a great uh, philanthropist, came to the church and donated a sum of five million naira. 
For what? He said it's for the ministry. He wants us to help the people in the ministry and also maybe renovate a part of the church. Really? Yes. That is so kind of this man. That is really kind of this person. I'd love to know who this person is. Meet him if it's possible. I mean, this level of kindness, quite rare, if you ask me. Absolutely rare. Anyway, he dropped his contact. Okay. So I will um, organize a meeting for us. That would be nice. I'd love to meet him. Right? May the good Lord continue to bless him. Amen. And a big iron man. Do you like it? I love it. Love it. Salad is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me just add more for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you know, my wife told me about your kind gesture to the church. And I must say that I am very pleased with your kind gesture. And my prayer is that the Lord Almighty continues. Thank you, Pastor. He will bless you more. Actually, I came from a very humble Christian background. From that orientation that I have, I feel it is natural for me to identify with the kind of things you do. I have not done anything to deserve the kind of blessing God has given me. So I feel it is only okay for me to appreciate God by giving out to people that are doing positive things like you. That is what I have done. You can always reach out to me anytime the need arises for anything you believe I can do. Ah, thank you very much, Chief. Yeah. Um, the pepper soup will soon be ready. <laughs> you don't need to worry yourself about me. I have a very strict diet pattern. I don't, I hardly eat outside, seriously. Uh, but now that uh, we have known, I am actually thinking that uh, both of you, I, I, I want to know if it is possible for me to host both of you in my place. That would be very nice. Very, very nice. I must say, Chief, that you are indeed a good man. You know, when she mentioned you to me, I told her that I would, you know, like more clarity um, as to who you are. But having you here and hearing you talk, I must say that I am satisfied. Thank you, Pastor. You know, I have uh, different foundations in town taking care of uh, the, the widows and the orphans everywhere. And I, I am thinking as a, as a man of God and a woman of God, if it will be possible for you to find time and uh, come with me, to visit any of any of the places. Mm. Oh well, it will be a pleasure. Okay. Yeah. And may the good Lord bless you. Thank you for allowing God to use you positively. May you never lack in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Um, Chief. Master. I hope you don't mind. I am led to, to pray with you. Oh. Uh, why should I mind? I'm happy. <laughs> I'm just so happy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for a day like this. You're such a bad girl. What were you thinking? What did you expect? My husband has the details to that account. You know, the bank app is actually downloaded on his phone. Hmm. I just told Chief and he played her long. That <laughs> man is a player. I know. But if he had not insisted, I would have introduced it to other people that would give you money. Please, 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 please. Let's not even push my luck any further. I still beg God for forgiveness every day. Hmm. I shouldn't be the one telling you about the goodness of God. He always forgives us. Please, can we not talk about this now? Okay, as Her Majesty pleases. But I'm glad your eyes are finally opened. I know. Can we go now? Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs>
God, oh God. Everlasting King of glory. With an attitude of gratitude, I approach your throne of grace and of mercy. I come to say thank you. Thank you for there is no life unto me. Thank you for you are God forevermore. Jesus, I have come, oh God, to appreciate you for what you are doing in our ministry, for what you are doing in this great commission. Father, with a heart of intercession, I come, oh God. I bring supplication to your throne, oh God. I lift up the throne room leaders of this church, our Father, our God in the man whom you are calling to this world of grace. Lord, I pray for the wisdom of Solomon. I pray for the heart of worship of David. I pray for the faith of Abraham, oh God. I pray, oh Lord, that you will lead him in the cross. You're fulfilling this work. The Bible said, I've born in that I have run this race. I have finished my course. Lord, I pray for my daddy. Our father, Apostle Castelga, that he will run this race. He will finish with a great, great reward from you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, he will not fail in his ministry. He will not fail in this work. Thank you for what you've done. I leave them out, Mama. Lord, I pray, oh God, just like Deborah, just like Esther, Lord, I pray, oh God, as she must another year in this life, as she must another year in ministry, Father, I pray that you preserve her, that you open up more doors of ministry for her. Lord, I pray that you bring in more openings. The Bible said, and a greater and effectual door has been opened before me. But there are many adversaries. Every adversary to the door of ministry are opening for her. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you take it away in the name of Jesus. Every tree that is not planted of you in the cause of a fulfilling our ministry. Lord, I pray, oh God, let it be uprooted. Let every distraction be taken away. Let every distraction be taken away. Oh God, as your daughter, Mark's birthday, I am here offering my birthday gift in supplication. Lord, I pray that you keep her in focus. Lord, I pray that you keep her steady and consistent. Happy birthday, the woman of God. Oh, <laughs> you have surprised us with this visit. <laughs> Good morning, the highly anointed pastor Daskanga. <laughs> How are you today, sir? I'm very well, you're welcome. <laughs> well, I saw it online that today is your birthday. So I decided to come early to give you this as my own little present for your birthday. I know how busy today we get, so I needed to come early to give you this before people will start trooping in. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 20 million naira! Why are you shouting? <sighs> you deserve more than this. Oh. I, I had wanted actually to get you an SUV. Then I decided again that she has a car already. And I know how your ministry preaches against wastage. So I felt it is only natural that I should give you this so that you and your husband can decide how best to use it. Oh. It's, it's my birthday gift. Honey, look at this. Thank you. Chief, I am short of words. However, I want to say a very big thank you. The Lord is indeed using you in so many good ways. Why? is actually a role model. Yes, yes. I have benefited immensely. I have watched all, almost all the episodes of our TV program. Well, many women are following. Even my wife is a fan. You have touched her life in so many ways. And I felt it's only natural that I should give you this. Oh, manage it. Manage it, please. Thank you. May the good Lord reward you bountifully. Amen. Amen. I should believe it now. Already? Yes. I just kept to give her this. I know how busy this today will get. So you will settle down and enjoy yourself. 
Thank you so much. God bless you. Bless you more. God bless you. Bye bye. Thank you, Chief. Oh, oh God bless him. God bless him. What are we going to do with this? Enjoy yourself to the fullest. Okay? This is just the beginning. You see, Chief? Chief will give you lots of luxuries that you have never imagined in your life. And if he starts misbehaving, you move to someone else. No strings attached. My darling, how you plan this thing still baffles me. Do you know that my husband believes that Chief Okundu is a philanthropist that came to help the ministry? Do you have to mention that pretender in this discussion? Is it my husband you're calling a pretender? You don't have to feel bad about him. For that is what he is. Listen, if I tell you what he does whenever he travels, <laughs> babes, you will poison him. Yes. So calm down, enjoy yourself with Chief. I mean, Chief, carry your matter for him. Mm. Gala. <laughs> <laughs>